The upper traction of stomach was performed by single side arm to open the gastrocolic ligament. The tumor was identified at the proximal pancreatic body and the adhesion was detached. The inferior border of the pancreatic neck was dissected to expose the superior mesenteric vein, splenic vein, portal vein confluence. Small tributaries of splenic vessels were carefully isolated and resected to preserve the distal pancreas. At this point, vascular control could be effectively achieved with the help of two main articulating instruments. A complete window was made at the pancreatic neck and a nylon tape was introduced for facilitating division of the pancreas. Then, the pancreatic neck was divided using endo-GIA. The distal pancreas was retracted using an elastic rubber band to avoid laceration of soft pancreatic tissue during the retraction. The dissection proceeded towards the left along the splenic vessels. The second resection line was determined and inferior and superior edges of the distal pancreatic stump were sutured to facilitate anastomosis. The segment of pancreas including the tumor was resected using ultrasonic shears. Approaching the deep pancreatic parenchyma, the pancreatic tissue was resected using vibration of the active jaw to prevent coagulation of the pancreatic duct. After identification of the pancreatic duct, it was cut with laparoscopic scissors by the assistant surgeon. Small bleeders were controlled by suturing with proline 60. Moving to the first portion of jejunum, the proximal jejunum was resected using endo-GIA after trimming the mesentery. Next, the distal jejunal limb was pulled up through the mesocolon and placed alongside the distal pancreas. A short silicon catheter was inserted to the pancreatic duct and pancreatical jejunostomy was made. Posterior outer sutures were performed at first. This step might be the most demanding procedure in laparoscopic central pancreatectomy because the surgical plane moves away from the pancreatic neck for resection to the distal body of pancreas for anastomosis. The changes of surgical plane result in limitation of laparoscopic procedure because of non-articulating instruments. Therefore, this step would be the point that the advantage of robotic approach could be maximized. The anastomosis was performed as duct to mucosa manner and all sutures were made by interrupted sutures as same as the open procedure. Pancreatical jejunostomy was completed by anterior outer sutures. The defect of mesocolon was fixed with jejunal limb to prevent internal hernia. Finally, the jejunal jejunostomy was made by intracorporal anastomosis using the V-LOCK 3O suture. The procedure was completed by indwelling the two-armed drain tube around the pancreatical jejunostomy site.